are you feeling now that you've settled in South Africa? Well, it's great. Um, boys have all travelled really well. Um, physios and trainers have been all over the recovery side of things. So, the climate as well. It was pretty tough hit out against the Chiefs, that's for sure. So, there's a few sore bodies uh, jumping on that plane. But, um, the guys are all pretty professional. We've nailed our travel. And, um, there's certainly been no shortcuts in a uh, week like this. Um, this, you've played plenty of big games in your career. Where, where do you think this would rank? Oh, this is right up there. This is, uh, this is why you play the games. You play the big, big games on the big stage. And, uh, it doesn't get any bigger. Uh, sold out Ellis Park and, uh, in front of 60,000 screaming uh, South African fans. So it's, uh, it's a challenge. Uh, it's going to be tough, but it's a challenge that all the boys are excited about uh, and one we're ready to look towards. Have you, have you got any players that have maybe um, stuck their, their hands up uh, this week and, and, and come forward as, as leaders with maybe some advice um, on how to approach the final on Saturday? Well, we've got a pretty good leadership group and, and all the guys have kind of um, offered their, I guess, ex- experiences and, and advice to, to players that were helped out in, in the team with their thing they couldn't. So um, we've been do- operating really well all year, so we're, we're pretty lucky, you know. Sam Wallach's our captain, but you guys like Kieran Reid and White Crockett is the most cap crusader, so... We're pretty lucky with the experience we've got in the squad. And I think uh, our young guys in the group have got the experience now that you know, they've been some of our best players of the year. So we're in a pretty good place as a squad, but it's just about um, really nailing your preparation, nailing your routines, and um, not really changing too much. It's, it's another game, but just really be diligent with your preparation. And if you prepare well, then you can perform well. How crucial would you, would you say a first start would be on Saturday, uh, bearing in mind how the Lions came back in the second half of the season? Well, you always want to start well. Um, you want to establish dominance, whether it's through territory or possession or whether it's on the scoreboard. But um, start's always key when well, we started well all year, but you've got to be able to play for 85, 90 minutes as long as it takes to get the win. So um, we'll go out there and we'll take it moment by moment and um, just enjoy the challenge. Um, no travelling team has ever uh, won the Super Rugby in South Africa, the title in South Africa. So how tough an assignment is this? Oh, it's tough. It's, when a Super Rugby title is not easy. If it was, then, you know, you want to do it. So it's, uh, it's tough. But um, this team's been doing things we weren't supposed to all year. You know, we've loved every challenge we've had. And we've come up top of most of them. So the um, uh, boys are excited about this weekend. I can't wait for the shows today. It's exciting and uh, we can't wait. Uh, Ryan, I think you've scored five tries against the Lions in your past uh, two or three games against them. I'm sure you'll be wanting to continue that form this weekend. Oh, I guess um, yeah, I'll be pretty lucky the last few times. I, I think I've been the right man in the right place at the right time you know, for a couple of those tries. But um, yeah, I just go out there and do my job. And uh, if that results in getting a wee bit quiet, then uh, happy days. But um, now my job is not to go out there and school tries but to execute my role within the team and if the try comes on as a product of that then happy days. Um, Ryan, the Lions will obviously be riding there off emotion. It's, it's been the last game for their coach and when I come in. But you guys you know also have some some some, some emotion to play from in almost ten years, over ten years. Crusaders have won a title and Razor could become the first former player and coach to win that squad Yeah I, I don't think emotion will be like an issue, it's, I know the boys will be out for this one if they're, if they're not, there's something wrong with it. But you know, we, we played the Highlanders and, and they had their coach was heading off and they had high emotion. We played the Chiefs last week and they had, um, you know, Renz was off and a couple of their uh, class players that have brought them a couple of times were off as well. So we've played teams that were high in emotion the last couple of weeks and the Lions will be the same, you know, we're a tight group and you can see that and so are we. So, I don't think um, emotion will be the, the difference. I think it'll be whatever team can execute the best under pressure. And, uh, we've been playing in high pressure games all year, so uh, we'll, we'll do our best about execute uh, and uh, under the bright lights on uh, Saturday afternoon. How, how close is this to our school work all week this much? Uh, seeing that both sides are, are laden with international. Well, I guess uh, test match rugby is different to Super Rugby, but I guess on the the high stakes side of things, it's, it's right up there, isn't it? It's a final test match is uh, of that massive intensity. So, um, if we can perform like we were in a test match, then uh, we'll hold ourselves in good stead. But yeah, that's, that's right up there.
on a, a lighter side, what do you make of your Good Luck teammate uh, Dane Cole saying that he's supporting the Lions this weekend? Well, it's Cozy's Cozy. I, I imagine he'd have been hurting pretty bad after that. He's a pretty staunch Canes fan, uh, Canes man. Um, well, he can he can say whatever he wants. The, the media can write what they want, but at the end of the day, we're here doing this for us and our group and our people back home. So um, I'll, I'll have a word with Cozy when we catch up. Uh, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. But um, yeah, I can't really call him. <laughs> Well, any holes in one because last week there was <laughs> holding on apparently there's no incentive, no video footage to support that just a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, we, we had most of our guys resting up on that day off. Um, we had a pretty tough battle against the Chiefs and guys, um, got a, I think a couple of guys went and had a wee bit of a hit but most of our guys were resting up. I don't know if Deggy got a hole in one. You might have to ask him but I think everything Bowden touched touches t- tends to gold on it so but now boys are resting up getting ready for this weekend.